Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and in today's video we're going to be talking about hashtag murder funding by Gretchen McNeil. So as we always do with the book reviews, I do read the synopsis or something that is on the back of the book and so I will do that here before I get into my thoughts. The synopsis says, Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Paniac? The latest reality TV show on the hunt for the next big hit serial killer. But don't worry, no one is actually going to murder anyone, as real as the fake gore and pretend murder may appear. Uh, right? 17-year-old Becca Martinello is about to find out. When her perfectly normal soccer mom dies in a car crash, a strange girl named Steph appears and lets Becca know that her deceased mom was none other than one of Alcatraz 2.0's most popular serial killers, Molly Muller. Uh, soon, Becca ends up on Who Wants to Be a Paniac to learn the truth about her mom's connection to Molly, but things turn sinister when the people around her start being murdered in real life, or IRL. Will Becca uncover dark secrets and make it out of the deadly reality show alive? Or will she get cut? Okay, so let's talk about Gretchen McNeil's hashtag murder funding. Now, this is book two of the, I guess, hashtag murder trending series. I'm not exactly if this, this series has a particular um, like series name or anything so we're just gonna go with hashtag murder funding. The first one was really interesting and I really enjoyed it so that's why I picked up book two. I have to admit that I have all of them and hardcover and my hardcover version for this book was actually falling apart before I could even read it. Like pages were coming unglued from the spine. So I had to go out and purchase the paperback because I was too afraid to buy another hardcover and have that one fall apart as well. So I bought the paperback and read it and it worked perfectly fine. Moving on to the storyline. So yes, that you read, you heard that right. On the back, it says that they are looking for who wants to be a paniac, which is basically the people from the first book. That's what they were coined. They are the people that, um, I guess, deal out the punishments for those who have been sent to prison and are on death row. Um, that's the only way I can really describe it. In this one, it's not the same as the first one, but has some elements of the first one. So the first one, um, and I will link my book review for hashtag murder trending in the description, but in that one, we follow the main character. She was sent to Alcatraz 2.0 for being, uh, she was framed for murdering her sister and they had a lot of different paniacs and they would take turns, uh, I guess, killing the people that were sentenced to death. So, and Molly, Molly Muller was one of them. Another one was um, DIY Nona. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. I don't have the book in front of me, but those were just some of them and Molly Muller was one that she would have animals deal out the people's punishments. Um, I believe the scene that we saw in the first book with Molly was that she allowed a huge python to swallow a man whole and let the snake digest him from there for his crimes. Um, I think there was also a brief mention of her having like different lions or big cats type thing and so she was like dressed as a circus clown in in a way I think and so she had all the animals and that's how she dished out, dished out her 
executions or anything like that. In this one, um, the main character, Becca, loses her mom. They go through the whole like funeral scene and someone is watching her from a distance. And so she, you know, learns who that person is and is talking to them and this person um, Steph says your mom was Molly Muller and I can prove it she says no she wasn't um, so it's just kind of like that thing they kind of team up in a sense that they're gonna go and try to be on this TV reality show and Becca is there to to disprove Steph's belief that her mom was Molly Muller and things happened um, they have to go through different uh, like I'm trying to think because it's it's not really an obstacle but it's kind of like a more like a test that they have to go through um, and then some dark secrets from her mom, because she had two moms, um, her other mom had some secrets and so she's trying to find out those secrets. Meanwhile, she's trying to disprove Steph's theories about her other mom being Molly the Muller. You also meet, uh, what was his name? I don't think I can find it in time. Victor Merchant. He was one half of Merchant Bronson. So Victor Merchant, they are saying that he was the postman. I think that's what it was. I'd have to go back and look at the first one. But again, I'll leave the description down, uh, the link to the description, link in the description. But talking about this one, I won't give too much away because I want you guys to read it for yourself. But I think I rated the first book four stars and this fell in line with it. It seemed like I really liked it, but it just seemed like there was something missing. And I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm hoping that the third book, and I don't want it, I don't know if it's the third and final, but the third one is um, hashtag no escape. So I don't know, just the title alone tells me that there's going to be more. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm looking forward to reading that one because if it is the third and final, then this finishes out this series. And I really want to see where this one leaves off, where the third one picks up. So I look forward to reading that one. And that one, like I said, is in hardcover. So I hope that it doesn't fall apart on me. But I really enjoyed this one and you can kind of see like all the different characters here. This is them being in their different costumes. Um, if you go through the book, each of these are one of the, I guess, main characters because there's, I think this is supposed to be Becca and then there's the other ones that um, she came along with and went through the obstacles with. And unfortunately, some of them do get picked off, but there are a select few at the end. And that's all I'm going to say, because you don't know who it is and who got offed, so to speak. And yeah, I highly recommend that you read this one. Um, at least read the first one and see how you like it. And then continue with this one if you do like it. I like Gretchen McNeil's writing style, so that's why I have read pretty much all of her books. There are a couple that I haven't read yet, and I hope to get to those this year. Um, I don't know if they're behind me or not. They are, but they're like way up there, so I can't get them. But yeah. Um, four stars for hashtag murder funding and I will move on to hashtag no escape. Well that is all for me in this one guys. If you liked this video please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified on upcoming videos soon. I upload Tuesdays and Saturdays and I am also starting to implement um, book review Thursday. So keep an eye out for those and I will see you in my next video. 
Bye.